going to start off with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I just got a spray tan, so I'm actually now in the color medium 28. I'm just going to dab it all over my under eye area just to brighten it up as well as my nose bridge. There's some redness around my nose and also corners. I really like the applicator of this because it's flat and also really bendable, so it makes it really easy to apply it on my face with precision. Now I'm just taking a beauty sponge and blending the product out. I like using a beauty sponge for something that's creamy because I think it gives you a really nice natural finish. It blends really nicely into your skin and absorbs any product that is excess. Okay, so I'm going to be skipping foundation today because I like to let my skin breathe. Next, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and set my under eye. Take my beauty sponge and just apply it under my eyes. And I'm just gonna leave it there and bake that area as well as my forehead. Okay, now that I look crazy enough, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. For the brows, I'm going into my Precisely My Brow from Benefit in number five. And number five is a really nice, kind of more cool tone brown shade. I like to start off at the bottom of my brow, towards the end of my brow, and then extend my brow, following the natural growth of my hairs. And I like to bring my brows just a little bit outside of my natural growth because when I take this pencil and line it from my nose to the edge of my eyes, it perfectly ends right where I usually end my brows. And that's the proportion of where the length of my brows should be to my face. It's a really nice and easy trick when you go like this so you know where you should end your brows. As we're nearing the front of my brows, I like to start by drawing a really thin light stroke underneath where my hairs grow upwards and then taking this spoolie i'm going to push the color upwards as a guide to where i'm going to start blending my brow product so i'm just gonna follow my hairs in an upward stroke take your time with the front of your brow because you don't want it to make it look chunky so the spoolie is going to be your best friend at this point and also your fingers. You can always use your fingers to clean things up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this brow turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the other side and I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna pop on a little bit of eyeshadow with Kristen Dominique's Latte Palette. Mine looks quite dirty because I use it very often. I love, love, love this palette just so much. All right, so I'm gonna go into a big fluffy brush. This one is like this from Morphe, the M511. I really like using this brush to just lay a base coat of matte brown like that. Well, it's more like a caramel color all over my crease. And what this does for me is just to warm up my lids and gives a little bit of a cast. I like using this big fluffy brush because it does, it covers my whole lid space in no time. Now for the eye portion, the eyeshadow, we're really just focusing on giving it some depth, not really color. We wanna give the appearance that you're not really wearing too much makeup. So we're going for neutrals right now, something warm to warm your face up a little bit. With another fluffy brush, this is the Anastasia A25. It's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go into the color Mocha, a deeper brown matte shade. Just take it to the outer corner and only focusing it there in soft circular motions pushing into my eye socket. This is going to give you a really nice transitional blended shade. There we go. And I like doing this to my outer corner of my eyes because it gives my eyes that more of a cat-like look, makes it look a little bit sharper. And you can be kind of like messy with this because we're gonna draw an eyeliner over it anyway, but I just like to set a foundation for the crease for now. So for now, I'm gonna leave it there for the eyes and taking my big old brush, I'm gonna dust away my powder. Here's the eyeliner portion. Today I'm reaching for my Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Eyeliner. So when you do your eyeliner, a really big wing eyeliner, you wanna start where the corner of your eye 
it is. And then imagine there's an imaginary line from the end of your brows to the corner of your eyes. So that's where I'm going to draw. And I find that it helps when you draw it in a backhanded stroke. All right, and then with the rest of the liner, I'm just going to fill it in. Okay, so we got one big eyeliner on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so we got both wings on. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my lower lash line. So first I'm gonna start off with the middle of my bottom part of my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the tip of my eyeliner so that it's really light and slowly drag out a line. And I'm using the straight line method so we're not closing off my eyes at all. Notice this is the water line. I'm not bringing it upwards, I'm bringing it out. Same thing to the other eye. And I like using a um, liquid liner because it matches the blackness of the top and it also doesn't smudge because it's a liquid liner. So that really helped open my eyes. Now I'm going to take an eyeshadow. I'm gonna take a pointy brush like this, Mocha from the Latte palette. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a pointy edge and just smoke out the bottom. We're gonna take this cream blush, a really vibrant red cream blush, Holika Holika, and using your fingers, I'm going to start patting this product closest to my eye, right over here. And it's almost touching my wing liner. And now I'm just gonna use my fingers to keep blending it back towards my temple. So now we're just gonna slowly build this color up and bring it downwards towards my cheeks right here as well to the back of my face. Really intensifying the blush right here. More the closest to the under eye area. And this is the drunken look effect, but cute. Like you're really blushing. Finish one side of the face first to show you guys. I'm gonna take this Play 101 stick by Etude House. It has a contour side. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my temples and really just blend these colors out. Apply it to my nose as well as my jaw. Right now I'm gonna take my beauty blender, just blend the product into my hairline. Now I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow palette, take this large fluffy brush and just pat it to the outer cheekbones to set it a little bit more. We got the cheeks done. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Venus palette and reach for this beautiful matte red color. And what we're gonna do right now is, actually this red color is called Muse. It's like a burgundy red. We're gonna blend the eyeshadow into the blush that we just applied. And what this is supposed to do in terms of aesthetics wise, it's kind of make you look like you haven't slept really well, but cute, yeah. So I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm blending this down so that it transitions really well into the blush, you guys. Now I'm going to take that pointy brush again and go into a deep brown color and closest to my lash line, we're going to apply that to the outer corner of my lower lash line just to give it a nice gradient. I'm gonna crimp my lashes, even though it's not gonna make too big of a difference, but it just makes me feel better. The difference that's gonna make to be honest, is the lower lash line. I've been loving this mascara by Milk Makeup. I have no lashes, invisible. This mascara still manages to lengthen my lash hairs, which is pretty freaking amazing. Like, it makes them visible, which is pretty dope. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I surely can. I love this mascara. So for the lower lash line, I like to swipe in a side-to-side -side motion because <gasps> I got them everywhere. It's okay. I'll go back and fix it later. It really lengthened my lower lashes. I got it everywhere. 
Okay, there we go. I like to start off with a side to side motion first just to make them a little bit longer. And then I go in with like dragging down motions to lengthen them even more. Cool thing about this mascara is it's made out of kush. We're almost done, you guys. We're just going to apply some lip color. So for lips, I'm going to be applying Perry's Ink Velvet. It has orange undertone to the red and then push it out with my lips. And then I like using my fingertip to just soften the edges a little bit. There we have it. This is the completed look. It was really easy to create, really quick and simple. You use mostly your fingers and just a couple brushes for your eyeshadow. If you guys like these type of talking to camera with my voice kind of videos, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys recreate this look, please tag me. I am Karen Noah. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.